Hey, what's up, everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, coming to you today to share what to be doing in the final three months before LSAT test day. Before I get into it, please do me a favor, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm, and I really do appreciate it. So if LSAT test day is three months away, what should you be doing? I'm going to share with you a three-part framework underlying all of the study plans in my LSAT courses. The three parts are accuracy, pacing, and endurance. In this case, month one, you focus on accuracy, doing individual questions by type to solidify your foundation. In month two, focus on pacing, doing timed sections with standard timing, that's 35 minutes per section, strictly to work on how you allocate your time, ideally getting to the point where you build up a time bank and you have a few minutes remaining at the end of the section. How awesome would that be, right? Finally, phase three, in this case, month three, endurance, doing full-length timed exams. That's going to be typically four sections, two sections back-to-back, -back, 35 minutes each, then a 10-minute break, then two more sections back-to-back, -back, and that's it. You're done. You want to get to that point before test day where test day itself is like just another practice run through. I recommend typically having done at least 10 timed practice tests before test day. If you want to incorporate a couple of those in month two, that's totally fine. If your foundation's already solid, you can start doing them now. It's really up to you. Of course, the framework I'm sharing here is simply a general one, and I want you to customize it to your particular situation. That's something I do for all the students in my LSAT courses, so check out the link below if you'd like to find out more on how to join. Anyway, folks, that's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please, again, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really does help. Thanks for watching.